Hello Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back. Pisces, this is going to be the next 48 hours. What is going on in the next 48 hours for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get some messages for Pisces. Let's jump right in. Okay, Pisces, we have signs and reminders. You may be reminded of some kind of situation. Some kind of situation that's unfolding. We also have no. Spirit is letting you know no. And we have holy love. Wow. <clears throat> At the bottom, we have vulnerability and freedom. Okay, let's get a monology. What's going on with Pisces? Okay, we have the answers you need are coming. So if the answers aren't clear at the moment, I feel like they're coming on the way. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. So you're about to have some kind of win. Something is coming in your favor, Pisces. Let's get more energy for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, and rising. Venus. The next 48 hours, please. Okay, the lovers. Wow. Are you serious? The star. There you are, Pisces. And the six of wands. Okay, something is coming forward. I feel like if you're open to love, you are definitely getting that love. Um, and Pisces, if you've seen your last reading, this is a total turnaround. Although you did have love in your last reading, I felt like there was a lot of tug of war. A lot of, you know, stubborn energy that did, just wanted to linger. So it's beautiful energy that you're coming out of that. And you are moving into this more loving, more stable, more beautiful healing energy that's successful. It's victorious. It's a reason to celebrate. You know, so that's beautiful energy, Pisces. See, what else do we have for Pisces, please? What else do we have for Pisces? The hangman. Wow, I feel like it's all coming into fruition because <laughs> you changed your perspective. You kind of compromised your, your position. You may have had to surrender some kind of viewpoint but I feel like by doing that you hold the key you hold all the power Pisces because whatever this is that you're creating it's definitely working for you we also have the three of cups another card of celebration of get togethers of being surrounded by people so I feel like you're very social at the moment I feel like you may be having a lot of gatherings and this is, we are going into Pisces season. So happy birthday Pisces. So this may be the reason for all the celebration. So yeah, beautiful energy. More messages for Pisces, please. Next 48 hours. Nine of Cups. Oh my goodness, can we get any better? The High Priestess. More Pisces energy. And the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. At the bottom we have the Page of Cups. So I definitely feel like someone is bringing you an offer. Someone is offering you their cup. Their love. Their emotion. Someone is showing you how much they care. You know, you are a water sign, so this could be your energy, Pisces. But I feel like 
someone's making this offer and it may be something that is not expected it may be something that you wished for it may be some kind of offer that you've been anxiously waiting for anticipating and it's like your wish fulfillment like your happiness you know with the high priestess energy i feel like this is secrets being revealed trusting in the universe and having some kind of balance or order returned you know some kind of balance some kind of order is you know the scales are now balanced something is giving equally in the situation so I, I feel like <laughs> wow okay this is very interesting this is very interesting Pisces okay we're gonna get another deck and we're gonna clarify a little further okay with the lovers we have the two of Pentacles so I feel like I feel like you're making this love a priority. You're, you're, whatever this love interest is, I feel like you're giving it value. This is something that you hold very dear to you. That you are willing to fight for with this five of swords. So I, I feel like it's something that's very important because on top of the star you have the five of swords. So I feel like you are willing to fight for what you believe in. You're willing to fight for um, honor, for beliefs, you know. So that's be very beautiful. Okay, with the, with the Six of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles. So definitely I'm feeling that this is very valuable to you you're holding this very close you're protecting this this interest this may be something that you might be holding close to yourself and may not be sharing with others just at the moment so this may be a brand new love that's coming in and you're kind of keeping it secret you're just keeping it all for yourself you don't want anyone to know about this just yet. You know? Tell me about this hangman. And <clears throat> the magician. The three of cups. Okay. Okay. With, with the hangman energy, I feel like you, you kind of change your perspective. This is you surrendering to the situation. But I feel like it's also like... I, I kind of feel like you're kind of talking your way out of the situation. Like you're, you're using your thoughts and your ideas as kind of backup, if that makes sense. Um, because I feel like with this magician and the judgment, I feel like some sort of energy that's being created is very hopeful, very new, very inspiring energy. Um, but it's almost like a, a totally new beginning that you're creating. This new beginning, I feel like, is very playful energy. It's very... Almost like you're doing pranks. Almost like you're being really rambunctious in a way. You know, I feel like you are being a jokester. Pisces. It's very interesting. I feel like whatever the situation is, it has you kind of feeling like a child. Feeling renewed. 
like you're very playful very competitive in a way hmm okay with the nine of cups we have the three of wands definitely looking towards the future the eight of wands and the nine of cups again definitely I'm loving this energy. I feel like you're you are receiving. Look at this. We we have the the nine of cups with the three of wands. The three of wands is growth, expansion. It's also waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for a certain outcome. So I feel like you may be waiting for this nine of cups, but you receive action with the eight of wands. Action, initiative something successful coming through very quickly this is very fast energy with this eight of wands this is taking action this is something coming through so i feel like this nine of cups this wish fulfillment is giving you double confirmation because not no longer are you waiting for this wish fulfillment but now you are seeing it actually come to life you're seeing whatever you wish for come into fruition. So it's beautiful energy. Okay, Pisces. Let's get a little further clarity. Let's go a little deeper. What do we have for Pisces? Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, yeah, we have these six of swords. We have the world card and we have the five of swords again. So I feel like there's something that you're fighting for. Look at this because you're moving from the six of swords to the five of swords to the world. So something is coming complete. You're moving in this direction to where you're achieving your goals. There's something that has become accomplished in your eyes you're moving towards this new island that has new adventure journey you know new experiences so I feel like you are trying to hold on to the old experiences because look at this we see the five of swords he's taking all the swords and he's watching them all walk away you know and then there she is coming onto this new land, this new experience. So I feel like nothing really was taken away from you, but what you're taking away from the situation is a completion, new experience, going on this new journey. Okay? Okay, Pisces, let's get more messages. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, next 48 hours. Okay, the World Card, excuse me, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun. Wow. Then we have the King of Wands. Beautiful energy. So you're making a turning point. You've ended some kind of chapter, Pisces, and now you're going into this turning point that's bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of enjoyment, a lot of contentment. You know, this is also your good fortune coming through. Bringing in new passion. Being assertive, courageous, fearless. You know? Beautiful energy. Pisces. At the bottom, look what we have. We have the sun and the ten of cups. Definitely a lot of happiness. And I love this. This is a full turnaround from your last reading. So I'm really loving this reading for you, Pisces. If you haven't seen the last reading, uh, maybe take a look at the last reading for Pisces. Okay, what do we have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising. The Six of Cups. The Two of Cups. 
and the Page of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay, I feel like this is reason for celebration. This is a happy reunion. Actually feeling like you're coming home with the Six of Cups. You know, the Six of Cups can mean reunion, nostalgia. It can also mean someone returning in your life. But I feel like this Six of Cups is like feeling at home. You know, and we have the Two of Cups right next to that. And we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like you're really putting a lot of value into this two of cups situation you're finding stability you're gaining your footing you may also be making plans making plans for the future maybe making plans for travel but I feel like this is expanding your emotions you know Feeling like you're on solid ground, Pisces. And I feel like it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful energy. Okay, let's get some cards for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know, please? Power and intention. Yeah, I didn't see the emperor in here, but I know that you're very powerful. And we have composure. So keeping your composure in a situation, maybe not letting in on how excited you are or how, you know, um, how many feelings or emotions that are being exposed at the moment will, <laughs> will actually help. Let's see, what else do we have? Pisces. Okay, we have, don't let pride get in your way. Leo energy. So, you have the Leo strength. This is also self-love. Unconditional love. You know, being strong, being courageous. At the bottom we have, expect powerful change. So I'm really loving this. Beautiful. Okay, let's get one more card for Pisces. Okay, we have Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. That really doesn't want to come into view, but that's what it says. Okay. <clears throat> and we also have light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Okay. Okay, uh, Pisces, this is what I have for you. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And until the next reading, many blessings, love, and light.